So uh, I have a little bit of rain in my forecast. Uh, today's Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, it, it, it's 10, 20 percent. Mm. Okay, but it's late Thursday night when this cold front moves through. So it's late, late Thursday night and Friday morning when we have a chance. The Metroplex a quarter to a half an inch. Mm. Lighter amounts to the west of Fort Worth, heavier amounts to the east of Dallas. Uh, and it brings with it a severe weather threat, not as potent or not as big of a punch as of this moment as the last two events, mm. which have been you know, fairly significant. Yeah, they have. It, you know, it, it's always a big deal if it happens in your yard. Sure. People are like, well, you know, not much happened here. Yeah, but the guy down the street, you know, had part of his roof torn off. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't have those same type of uh, atmospheric dynamics or those same ingredients in this round of thunderstorms, but still, they could certainly be severe. Mm. Okay, so let me show you this. I want to start with the rainfall update. For the month, we've had two, uh, two and a third which isn't bad, clearly, uh, above normal by 16 hundredths of an inch. For the year, we've had 7.65. We are two also above normal for the year. T, T-O-O, -O, Jason, we are two. Two above normal, yep, uh, 0.22, so 2200, it's about a quarter of an inch. In March, remember, March is normally the fourth rainiest month of the year. The normal is 3.3. Uh, do I have another, let's say, another inch to get us to normal in my forecast? It just depends. If you get a thunderstorm on top, you pick up an inch or two in a short period of time. What is that uh, surplus of rain for the month and for the year meant? Well, right now we don't have drought conditions across anywhere in the Metroplex or locations to the east. Still problematic down in Bosque County from Meridian down to Hamilton, out in the, uh, the rolling plains of Texas, out in the big country around Abilene. Still have br bad drought conditions there. And look how bad it is down here in Hill Country. I mean, that's as bad as it gets. It's exceptional drought in those locations. That's that burgundy color. The red is extreme drought, the second worst classification. That's what we have in southern sections of North Texas. So South Texas right now, real problematic. The same thing out in West Texas and also across the Panhandle. So we need some rain and I don't have a, a lot, certainly no drought busting rains in my forecast for West Texas, the Panhandle or South Texas. Clouds though right now in Dallas, it's 53. Clouds at DBU. 54 winds gusting to 37. The high today was 55. The morning low 37. So clearly cooler than normal on the high and the low side. The normals for today are 70 and 49. 54 outside right now. A breezy south wind at 25 gusting up to 35. Pollen today we have oak, hackberry and maple. All three are there. All three are moderate fungus today. That's low clouds there. I'm looking at this up here. I'm not getting any reports of any rain reaching the, the surface, but there could be a couple of sprinkles with that in the parts of Montague County, uh, Montague County and Clay County. Watch this. I'll step out of the way. Seven o'clock tonight. You see that? That's just a little rain up along the Red River. This is seven tomorrow morning. Sprinkles throughout the day, 10, 20 percent coverage. This is tomorrow night. Now here's seven o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. Same deal. Sprinkles, patchy showers, something like that. That's about it. 10, 20 percent coverage tomorrow and Wednesday. Wednesday night, seven o'clock. Fairly quiet overnight. Wednesday night, 7 a.m. Thursday. There we are. This is noon. So a little scattered rain during the day. Maybe a rumble of thunder. Watch Thursday afternoon. Could be a little rumble of thunder. 7 p.m. Thursday. There's the cold front and here it comes. It's on top of us. Five o'clock. 6 o'clock in the morning, so pre-dawn. I, I like it when these cold fronts come in late at night because the atmosphere isn't uh, bubbling up with the heating of the day. It's the cool time of day. That doesn't mean that we won't have severe thunderstorms with wind and hail being the big threat, but the potential of severe weather at 6 a.m., is a lot lower than the potential of severe weather at 6 p.m. just because of the atmospheric dynamics in play. Seven in the morning on Friday, and there's our severe weather threat. It's Thursday evening, Thursday night late. It's mainly some hail and quarter size hail and also some 60 mile an hour winds, maybe a quarter to a half an inch of rain, higher amounts to the east of Dallas, as I mentioned, and lower amounts to the west of Fort Worth. The coverage this week, it's 10, 20 percent Tuesday, Wednesday. Half of us late day Thursday, but it's mainly Thursday night and Friday morning. Saturday's dry with sunshine and then Sunday maybe a sprinkle partly cloudy to end the weekend. Tonight 49 windy and chilly, not as cold as it has been the last few nights in the 30s. 70 tomorrow, a windy day, a warmer day and a day with mostly cloudy skies. We keep the clouds around Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even some cloud cover Friday. Friday afternoon we should clear out, then Saturday's a sunny day, 76, and then Sunday uh, partly to mostly cloudy, a couple sprinkles, spotty showers, Sunday's high 78. But we'll watch that severe weather threat and see if the, uh, the system slows down or if it speeds up. That will adjust the timing of the rain, and that could also have a uh, serious impact on the severe weather potential too. But right now it's a low threat 
late, late Thursday night. But again, it's just Monday, and this is late, late Thursday night we're talking about. Yeah, these things have a mind of their own, so we'll keep watching that all yeah, week. Yeah. Thanks, Pete. Okay.